How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Tony Coxum. I'm the bar manager at the Grass Skirt Pacific Beach, this lovely oasis um, in southern sunny San Diego. Um, today we'll be making the Tropical Tony's Mai Tai. Yes, my Mai Tai for your at-home to-go bar kit. This Mai Tai is actually a variation of a traditional um, Trader Vic's Mai Tai, uh, just used with like my special touch of rums, which I think go really well together, blend really well together, and make like a really mix, harmonious mix of delicious rums to get your day started or ended or whatever you want to do with it. So we're going to start with lime juice. Uh, this is uh, fresh squeezed lime juice. Uh, we pretty much use our limes every day. Uh, just it tastes better. Um, it's clean, it's fresh, and it just adds like more character to the cocktail. This will be part of the kit. It's gonna be one ounce of fresh lime juice. Next ingredient is orgeat. Uh, we have a special recipe that we make in-house. Um, almonds, um, to some other things. It's, um, it's basically an almond syrup, so you get like a lot of like very sweet, savory, almond notes and nutty notes and it's really good flavor like it's a really good sweetener it's an enhancement for the Mai Tai and we make ours kind of special so it provides like a very specific flavor that we're looking for it's a half ounce of orgeat so next ingredient is curacao we use Hamilton's Petite Shrub. It's a rum agricole orange rum blend. Uh, a lot of orange peel to give it that like very bright orange flavor. It is rum agricole, so it does have some funky notes to it, which is really cool. It's imported from Martinique. It's really good stuff and it makes a really good Mai Tai. So it's gonna be a half ounce of curacao. All right, next up is the fun stuff. So when creating this Mai Tai, I was actually talking to a buddy of mine who makes a really killer Mai Tai. And we're talking about like a really good blend of rums, what like makes a really, what like really stands out. Isn't too, like is high proof rum because you want to definitely taste what you're drinking, but isn't going to like overpower you to where you're going to like die. So I came up with this blend. Um, the first part of it is uh, I like to use an agricole of some sort, something that's been aged a little bit. Doesn't have to be too crazy, but like definitely the funkiness and depth of flavor that comes from Rum Jam Gold was a perfect combination for me, and I really enjoy it. It's not too, it's not like overly powered in oak, but it's, you still get like, but it's not super dry like a straight white rum agricole. So I'm gonna do one ounce of that. Next up, you gotta have some Jamaican. We're talking Mai Tais, we're talking anything rum. You gotta have Jamaican rum. What we use here at the Grass Skirt is actually the Grass Skirt Dr. Bird Rum. It is a Madeira cast overproof Jamaican rum. High ester, um, really good flavor, very strong, um, but just depth, 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 depths of flavor, uh, many layers, and it's really good in a Mai Tai. So it's gonna be one ounce of the Grass Skirt Dr. Bird Jamaican rum. Now we are going to dilute it. So I'm just gonna add a little pebble ice. If you don't have pebble ice, you can use rock ice, it's totally fine. Shake tag. All right, after we've got some good air, let's release that for us. We're going to dump it in our glass. We're using the, one of the Grass Skirt Mai Tai glasses. These things are pretty sweet. If you don't got one, you should definitely pick one up. We're gonna to top it with a little crushed ice. And it wouldn't be a Mai Tai without a floater. So we are gonna float uh, Zaya rum. It's kind of a sweeter rum, so it's good. it adds a little bit more balance to the cocktail. Gives it a really cool color. Um, it's really delicious by itself, but it's great on a Mai Tai. All right. Now we have to garnish. Put a little straw in there. Do one of our beautiful uh, black and gold grass skirt swizzle sticks. I'm gonna put a little piece of fruit right there. 
A little mint for aromatics. And wouldn't be fun without your umbrella. Nice little blue umbrella to give everything a little shade. It's your Tropical Tony's my type.